hello welcome back to my channel so today we are making another beautiful style she's just playing around with dryer she just like the old air coming out of it so these are hair freshly washed no product yet so i need to detangle it first with my hand before i can put comb in it because putting comb in this hair is going to be very very painful so i'm using this product it's very good i'll put the name at one corner there so that you can see it it's so amazing so i just spray it to the hair like generously and detangle it with my finger so you have to finger detangle the hair it depends on how the hair looks if it's something that you can combo first no matter how it looks just figure detangle first before you go in with your comb and start from top to bottom and this is what it looks like without combing it and this is the result we got i added leave-in conditioner to it and you know, this is what we have so now i'm patting the hair small in front and large junk convict at the back because the back is one one and the front is going to be different so this is what the back is going to look like I just want something simple something she can carry for like one two weeks because she's making hair for for resumption so this one is just for simple style for one or two weeks that she can carry and for some people it depends on how the texture of the hair is it can carry for three weeks so i'm just trying to part it and making it Another thing, no shine and jam on this air at all. What I have seen is a scalp, and I'm just going. I'm just using my. So I'm just using my pantu pomade as cream, just to clear the pattern. No shine and jam, no gel, no edge control at all. So when you take care of your hair or your daughter's hair. You will have a very clean scalp and you won't need shine and jam all the time. I can't even remember the last time I used shine and jam on her hair. I've not been using shine and jam on her hair and we've been getting amazing, amazing results. So, if you are new to this channel, you're welcome to this channel. On this channel, we do different children hairstyle. We talk about wig, we talk about your hair, how to care for your hair protective style you can do product recommendation wig revamping if those sound like what you would like subscribe to this channel and share the link with your family and friends and to our returning subscriber thank you for always tuning in thank you for always coming back and for those people that is watching this video and you have not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe to our channel your subscription is important to us and subscription is free so after parting the air i use my rubber to hold it not too tight you don't want your daughter's hair to be too tight so just hold it and till is neat so i'm just doing i'm just going to be weaving it like you're doing braid so i divided it into three and go ahead with breeding it so and that is what i'm doing and after that i'll beat it so if you like this video please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe so what your thumbs up does is to for facebook for youtube to be able to share this video with other people like it will pop up on other people's timeline that needs to see this kind of video so and that is why your thumbs up is needed so that youtube can suggest this video to other people that need it so i'm doing the same thing divide into three and weave it all the way down like you are doing normal braid and that is what i'm going to be doing so i hope you enjoyed this video I hope you enjoyed this video so i want to show you how i beat it because 
if it's air with extension the beading is um a bit different from when you are beading just the natural air so i'm done with that line and i'm just going to put the bead so when i put the bead the bead wasn't coming out a bit the air wasn't coming out of the bead so i had to use the cutting comb to pull the air out of it and after that you use your rubber to secure the bead so i'm just going to continue this process for the o uh, at the back and after that i'll come back when i'm doing the front Yeah, so I'm done with the back and I'm starting the front. When I started the front, I first did weaving because I just thought, okay, let me just weave it to the back. And um, I just realized that, hmm, because it's big because it's not a tiny weaving it's big and i'm not using shine and charm did it will be better so the first one i weaved it at this point she was already tired she touched the hair and she was like why do i still have so much to do like and we're not we've not even spent up to an hour she has started complaining that she's tired cranky kind of but you know we just have to do what we have to do <laughs> and now and now she said i should leave there and complete it later but no i had other stuff that i want to do so i can't stop and continue later so i just decided to weave the front after i weave the first one i changed my mind i didn't weave the rest so i just do didi for the rest of the hair and it came out so nice the combo was beautiful like it was so beautiful so i've done the rest i have two left but i want to show you how i do the dd and that is why i'm back here so first you part the hair and you detangle it like make sure you detangle it properly start from tip to down not from root to tip start from tip to the root that's how to detangle air and you get the best of it so after you are done with that the one you want to do divide it again into two parts when you are done dividing it into two parts then you start the work so i want to show you with these two that is left how to do dd just in case you have not seen any of my video on DD this video will give you what you need and if you want to know more we have series of video on DD that you can watch and you can see different type of DD that you can do 
with the one with extension the one without extension so i've started you start with the front and you pick from right to left and from left to right i want to believe you are seeing what i'm doing just watch follow my hand and you will get it yes the first time might not be so neat but the more you do it the better you will get at it so whether you are doing a tiny air or you are doing a big one dd is a very good protective style for you even for your children it keeps their hair in shape it's not always too tight it's not as painful as weaving and you will get amazing results it can stay for as long as three four weeks it depends on the texture of the air so i left that one so that when i'm going to the back i'll just do the two at once and i'm going to continue the same process here and i hope you can see it so after that i'm just going to weave the back just the way i did the rest and then beat it so if you have not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe to this channel give us a thumbs up share the link with family and friends i hope you enjoy my voiceover hmm. i want to believe that you are enjoying it so if you are enjoying it let me know in the comment section and if you don't want me to do voiceover let me know in the comment section as well but i think the voiceover is nice and i hope you're enjoying it so just follow my hand you can try with mannequin first before you go on with your daughter's hair or anybody's hair you want to do. And when you are starting DD, don't go, don't do it because you want perfection. Do it because you want to learn. The more you do it, the better you get at it. So when you want to weave the remaining one at the back you will not weave it from the front so that it can lay flat if you weave it from the front the way you are standing in front is going to be standing so just come to the back and weave it after that bid it and that is it i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in my next video you will see how the air looks turn out at the end of this video see ya